Hello everyone and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. This is part two. Um, I'm trying the best to summarise what happened in the last one. So we're playing as Edward, um, someone or other, and he's a private investigator who's helping out this woman who's gone to look for her uncle at this place called, um, I'm, I'm forgetting all the names. I'm so sorry. Edward, so his name's Edward Carnby, okay? Um, he's a private investigator who's been helping out Emily. Find, try and find her uncle who was um who's gone missing from this this like home called De Certo or De Certo or something um he found this talisman and it's, it's something to do with the voodoo and all this kind of stuff all the all the bad, the bad juju and um he keeps slipping into this now he's got this kind of talisman he's been slipping into this other world uh and this place is called it's called the hateful mound I can't remember the name of the guy that's gone missing. Jeremy, maybe? I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names in this game. I remember this guy was called Edward. But that's it. That's all I remembered. Okay, so let's see what we can find in here. Let's see if there's any decent stuff. Uh, what's on this? What's on the table here? A clue. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hopwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hopwood's efforts delayed. Workers seem nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, hang on, we've got uh, some investigation stuff. So this guy who's gone missing mentioned, he mentioned coming here to the Hateful Mound um, outside the oil rig. He's visited the grave of his father. So the Mr. Hartwood they're talking, his name's Jeremy Hartwood, the guy that's gone missing, is the, the owner of this oil rig by, by the sounds of it. So his father was a, uh, owned the oil rig. Any ammo? If I can. Nope, I can't. I need a key. Right, I need a key. So, I guess let's go back outside. Yeah, it's been a pretty good game so far. It's pretty janky. I said it before. It's, uh, it's been pretty janky in places, which has been quite funny, but... Um, how do I get up there? I, oh, that's where the door leads out there. And then onto that, into that building there. So, have a look. Is there anything here? So, I did see on my editing, you can hold these, look. You can throw them like that. Um, let's look. That's a good arm. There's probably going to be different monsters, I'd imagine, in this bit. Bit of variety. Anything out here? So we're properly in the bayou now. Uh, the guy from the maintenance said that the bridge had collapsed or something. So I gotta find a. Oh, nice. There's something missing. We, you'll be missing in a minute, mate, if you get into that water. Hang on, what's this? A jetty key. Oh, cool, so we can get out of the back now. Good. Mm. I found a key for the jetty. I keep forgetting I have a, a flashlight. A torch. Right, I just I just drunk some... Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe moonshine. Have I got stuck? Because I... I think I have got stuck. Maybe I can... Oh, here we are. I'm fine. I thought I'd have to reload a checkpoint then. Anyway, I, I drank a drink, which was um, very refreshing. 
I need a lever to bring the bridge down, I guess. A bit laggy around there. Right, this would be the jetty key. I'd imagine. Oh, good cup of tea. Tell I'm British. Okay. Like this. Oh, look. Bloody swamp ghouls. Ghouls and monsters. Oh, we got they got the bridge lever. <sighs> got it. Got it. Probably going to be some surprises waiting for me now. That's how this works. Look at them, there's about three of them in there. Oh, what's this? What's this? It's like a... Is it like a crocodile ghoul? A croco ghoul? A cagoule? I have no interest in fighting you. They're coming in. It worked. I feel like it's. Oh crap. Get over quick before you fall in. Get chomped up by a, a massive angry croc. Are they crocodiles or are they gators? Alligators. I think in the bayou, aren't they gators? Aren't crocodiles more fresh water, whereas alligators are more like in the bayou, in the swamps? I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, how are we looking for this? No, we're good for this. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the I'll keep the axe, the hatchet. We've got another. Oh, don't need that, but that's good to know that there's one there. Uh, were there any collectibles around here? I think I've been fairly diligent in picking up all the collectibles so far. I think I missed anything. Oh, bro. Look at that back pain. It's not ideal. Oh, crap. I'll shoot you. Yeah, what's that? Cause half his body's missing. But it looks like that anyway. Gross. What is it? That thing used to be human. I knew there'd be more. Give me this. I use it as a weapon. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Die. No, getting actually granny dear. Right, hang on, hang on. Get in there. Get your drink down, yeah. Oh cripes. Oh gosh, mate. Oh a shovel. Oh, okay. I use a shovel. What we got here. Oh a drink. Yes. If I stay here, I should be alright. What's here? More health. Okay. I get in there, yeah, good. What's in here? Any ammo? Any more ammo? No, no ammo. Another shovel. No, nothing there. Just health. God, it's a big barrel of useless balls in this place, isn't it? Okay, let's go out and uh, defeat this thing. I want that shotgun in the house. It's pretty weak. I just need something to break. Let's go, bro. Oh no! Oh, grim. Die. 
Oh, is it like tar? It's like slowing me down. Right, I'll fill up on health. And go and pick up some that I've lost and I'll replenish it. Good, alright. Uh, there's some more health. Good, I'm back up to a full complement. What's in here? We have a monster in here. I don't know why there's a delay between the first shot. Wait. So I guess the workers w uh, lived here on the on the actual rig site. Cool, I've got more bullets. Um... Yeah, I don't know why there's a, there's a kind of a delay between when you haven't shot the gun for a while. The first shot is like the sound is doesn't come doesn't register until like a second later. Man, there's a lot of um, these tunneling monsters about. Just make our way across. I can hear music. Reminds me of a safe room. Reminds me of the evil within. I'm gonna find Tatiana in here. What's this? Gazing statuette, a, a lagniap. Yes, you get these things called lagniaps, and um, you, sometimes you can't complete the whole set unless you play through both campaigns. Oh gosh. Die! Horrible death! Oh, my weapon broke. That's not ideal. I thought this was a safe room. You lured me in with the sweet music. And what happened? I've got my ass kicked. He loses quite a lot of health pretty quickly, doesn't he? Anyway. Um. I think that's it for this um, cabin full of surprises. Anything else? How about up here? They're basically crossing the bayou and trying to get to the... Oh. Oh, what? Oh, to sneak. Oh, good. I've got a sneak mechanic. I can stealth it. There we go. What about... Can they see the flashlight? So maybe they can detect my footsteps above them. Maybe they respond to that. Tell you what, let's throw that over there. And then take the bait. Why don't you take it over there? There you go. Let me sneak. Oh, I need to sneak over there. Sneaky sneaks. I'm wearing my best sneakers. I can hear something behind me. Oh, there was something behind me. You little slug. I wonder if I... I hope I, missed, I haven't missed any collectibles in that delightful field of nonsense. Okay, we've got another sneak area coming up here, look. It looks like it anyway. Oh look, I got I can pick up another weapon. Good. I got some more bullets as well. Full. Let's do a little sneak. Oh look, there's one there. 
if I use this, I can hit it at this one. Oh, very good. Get up there. All of you, burn! Yes, burn a lot of you. Oh my gosh, is this, is this place... Is this one... Is this burning as well? Here we are. That place is okay. It's okay. We're all good. Just setting fire to the oil fields. You know how it is. Huh. All right. Now what? Pray. Use that as a zipline, pal. Tough cloth. Got a key item. Well, you could have left without that tough cloth if I'd used the zipline. Yeah, come on, Carby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? Yep. Ah, you wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Don't lose your private investigator hat, mate. That's your that's your crown and glory, pal. Look at that. I'm a brave boy. Okay, let's just run through the the bayou. Avoiding the the alligators. Oh no, it's all sod. Ah. Oh. <gasps> what is this? What the hell is that thing? Is it blind? Uh, I'm probably going to fight that thing at some point. On earth. Where's it gone? I think I'll just leg it. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Oh yes, the hateful mound. Said he was plucking up the courage to go back. I can see why. It's pretty freaky. Don't come any closer. I'm off. Oh, Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? The Charlotte. Just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. She was a nurse. Yeah, after Jeremy too. Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon Deseto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. Oh no! Nice! No clip back into reality, pal. Oh Christ in heaven. There we are. It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. 
Kambi was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick, but somehow Kambi managed to find his way back to DeSetto none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now he had to figure out what to do with the boy. Okay, so we'll go and uh, go to the boiler. I'm back in this room. Okay, so we need to look and see if there's any solvable. There's no solvable puzzles. Solvable puzzles have a green puzzle uh, icon. A palette knife. Got a key item intended for painting, but it's thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Do you think we can use that to get into the the ones that are uh, wedged? Reflections on the power of the verb in certain Reflections texts. on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for, or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting, as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Hmm. Sitting room key. Okay, so I've got, uh, cool, I can get the drawing room now. Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I saw that gun before and I want it. So, I can use this to remove wedges. Here we go, look, I'm in a new room. New stuff. The Barlow Lens Instructions. The Barlow Lens Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Oh, magnificent magnification. Sounds absolutely magnificent, doesn't it? Cellar key. So I can get into the wine cellar now. Dog collar. What's the name of the dog? Couldn't see that. Bailey, maybe? Oh, I got a whole thingy, look. Bonus text. Uh, lost children. The lone and the lost walk... A land of fear. When there's nothing you recognize or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming, and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor and give them hell. What's this? Investigate the small parlor. Take the gun in the parlor. Where's the where's the parlor? The small parlor through here. Yes! I can get the gun. Oh, oh yes awesome i got the shotgun right and um, that's everything in this room now okay where's the drawer is this the drawing room through here no that's the library where is the this was the drawing room there's something in there still uh there's something in here which needs to be completed Ah, uh, here. Ah, uh, of course. So I need to find the magnification piece so I can look further. 
Awesome. Right. Let's go down to the wine cellar. Uh, which is the way to the wine cellar. I couldn't get through that way because I had to go through the kitchen. I can't get through the kitchen because the woman is in there and she is not very happy. So all these blue rooms are done. Huh? What? What? Why is there been dry ice coming through the bottom of the door? I have to go through the conservatory then. Nah, I can't get in Lottie's room either. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Shoot. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna get it. Ooh, that was close. Almost died. Shotgun shells. Very nice. Pickaxe. Ooh, yeah. Um, anything else in here? You know, I thought a shift was coming. Because there was stuff. So there's another world that's connected to this one. It's like a mirror of it. Which is a bit strange. It's like Silent Hill. There we are. I'm back in. It's very strange, wasn't it, eh? It's some bloodied man walking around a, some house with a, a pickaxe. Um, so can I get into Lottie's room now, then? That was the library. Lottie's room is this one, isn't it? But I haven't got a key yet for... Um, this. Sitting room key in the pallet, right? So I need to go down downstairs, basically. Back into... The, I need to go into the cellar. Oh, look. Uh, no, there's a door up here, actually. With a, with a door that I can unlock at the top of the stairs. And that leads back to... Oh, okay. Mm, do I want to do that yet? What's my objectives? Repair the decorative plate on the boiler. So that's, that's my objective. So I could go up here and have a look. There's no harm in having a look. Let's see what's in here. That door leads to the mezzanine. What's this book? Oh, is this the... Oh, there's pictures that are ripped, that resemble the, the picture we saw. Great, so that leads back to the rooms. I uh, can't unlock Jeremy's chest yet. Oh, man, I don't want to go through here yet, but there we go. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I, uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Evening, miss. See you, miss. It's been emotional talking to you, but I have things to do. 
Let's have a look. Ruth seemed like a handful. Her talk about Jeremy and the Dark Man made it sound like she might know something of importance. But ultimately, it felt like a dead end. Yeah, but she seems like she's letting more than, you know, she knows more than she's letting on. The patient files. So this, this woman's name is Ruth. Ruth Talent. Um, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter is removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Yeah. Simply staying at Deserto should do wonders for Ruth. David Mission 1928. Okay. We got here. Uh, I keep reading that landing app. Uh, ben Beignet. Uh, and then we need a syringe as well. And that'll be the. That'll be it for that one. Cool, we've unlocked another door. And that goes through to the mezzanine. Great. Uh, eesh, this is all done. I need to go back through here. It's cool that we're unlocking new places, though, and links to different other places. Let's see what's... Any other conversation stuff here? Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. I'm gonna... No. Just maybe ask her another question. Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. I enjoy watching professionals at work. Okay. It's new. Oh, I've got another bit here. So we could get down to the grand parlor. What was in the grand parlor? The key for the medicine box, wasn't it? Can we find the key for the medicine box? What's upstairs? There's an attic. We're gonna be locked though. Anything uh, interesting? Well, something definitely happened in there. And definitely something or someone in the loft. Oh, hang on, what's... There's a massive thing there that's just begging to be dropped. Isn't it? Hmm. So I can't open the door for the, for the loft, attic. Whatever you want to call it. But we'll go downstairs. And have a look in the grand parlor. We might be able to open a door to the downstairs section of the house. We need the key. No, we need a key. Right, so we can't go that way. What's down here? What's this? The medicine box key. Good, that's what I wanted. So I can go into, uh, what's her name's room now? And I unlock the medicine box. Okay. The dining room. Now this can lead back through. So we've we've yes, good. Alright. And this this is where Lottie's room's up there. Great. That works. So we're we're doing well exploring. What's going on here? Uh, it's the rot. There's more of that aggressive rot. On the common place of evil. There lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. By Nora Keith. Interesting. 
Nora Keith of the the art col um, colony. All right, so let's go into the um, Lottie's room and um, the me no, not in here. It is in here. This is the medicine box. And then we'll go down to the cellar. Dr. Jenkins lozenges. One of several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains tablets said to relieve sore throats and contain two vital vitamins. Vitamins. Is that everything in, in Lottie's? No, it's not. There's more in Lottie's room. Is there a, something behind this cabinet, do you think? Oh, look. Ah. Nurse's watch. It's her watch that she was wearing. Okay. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay, good. Right, downstairs. To the cellar. I don't think there was any other blocked doors. Um, map is of no use. I guess there's no... Um, cellar. Yeah, well, there's a locked door. There's still stuff in the grand parlour. <laughs> Boiler room. Yeah, that's where I need to go. But I'm going to check out the food and wine cellar first. Can I get in here yet? Is she gone? No, she's still in there. Cooking up a storm, I bet. Uh, cellar key. There we are. So I wonder what I do with the medicine. We got here. Forsaken crucifix fix. That's something that's another thing for the lost children. No, not lost children. What was it? Uh a thousand young. That was the necklace. The for forsaken crucifix. So I just need a trombone or something like that. Oh, I did a circuit box. Okay. Turn off the electricity to get to the valve. Right, so I need to find a switch, I guess. Alright, I guess I need to just go and do the boiler and I can come back to it. What do I use the medicine on then? I got the sitting room key, so I could go up there. First. Where's the sitting room? Sitting room is by the gallery. Alright, let's go there. We can go there first. If I had an arrow which showed me where I, where I was facing, that would be a lot easier to use to navigate using the map. Hmm. Looks like some kind of rot. Was it there before? When I used the the astronomical clock. Who knows? Lock There's something clue. missing. What's missing? France. Grace's room, okay. Creepy little girl. This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? Because she's your daughter, mate. I'm not, she's not. I'm just... Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game. Bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. All right, she's made her a mask uh, for the feast. Nice, I guess. Anything else in here? Grace, there's something, there's something else. Oh, look. Not done yet. Jack in the box. When it makes you worse. So these are all like, they, they class them as forbidden knowledge. 
these. So that, for example, let me unlock the shotgun cabinet. Grace's room is done. Excellent. Uh, who we got next? Uh, let's try the WC. Closet of water. I'm going to have to drain that bathtub, I guess. No, there's nothing in here. Okay. That's good. Now we'll go left into Cassandra's room. somewhere. I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Was he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. She's very wise, isn't she, for a young for a young girl? Why did that girl look so familiar? Detective Conby just couldn't quite remember. His last few years were clouded by a drunken haze, a haze which now had turned almost opaque. Considering their shared past, Grace had every right to feel slighted, but it wasn't in her nature. She was amused. I'm not amused. Hang on, what have we got a new objective? Turn off, oh yeah, of course, turn off the electricity to get to the valve. <laughs> right, okay, what else do we got here? More medicine? Margrave Liniment. One of several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard, this particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. Oh, look, we got two medicines now. We can put them in there. That's medicine. Like rot again. Medicine. Like it's guiding me to do something. Ah, the rot. What? Uh, and let's get the rot on the front, right. Uh, that one gonna be there. That one's gonna be there. That one's gonna be there. No, it's not. Hmm. Ah, I know. Yeah. No. Here we are. Here we are. We're going to the end. The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Two, five, something, seven. Yeah, what's that? Uh, two, f two, five. I can't make out that other number though. It looks like an L. Two, five, something, seven. Okay. Uh, Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I've put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, I was probably supposed to find that before, but I'm... It's another one of those strange padlocks. Oh, okay. I need to use my little, uh, cipher. 
Uh, oh, yeah, there's, it's just the fourth. There's no third number. It's just the fourth one. Two, five, seven. So what are the symbols for two, five, seven? Pisces. Gemini. And then Leo. See if I, see if I remember that. There we are. Okay, we got the broken plate. Good. Uh, a piece of a larger decorative plate has a light on which would like a quality. All right, cool. So. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? To unlock some it. Cassandra's room is done. I I need a thing for this, don't I? Go in there, it's just on the off chance. So it seems like rot is kind of spreading. I need to go now. Our oh, boiler. Is there anything anywhere else I haven't been? Uh, sitting room is where I just was. Maybe I can go back down to the grand parlor because there's something else down there as well. Apparently, maybe there's the. Oh look! Brightness from afar. Vagabonds. Very good. Right. There's something else down here, apparently. That just leads back to the dining room. What else have we got? Anything else? Yeah, why does this place look like a bomb's hit it? Oh, I found the syringe. Good. As the, as the world moved into the new decade, America was spiling into a maelstrom of debt, drought and death. <clears throat> it was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was, of course, no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on this threshold very well. It wasn't new, it was something that had always been with him. So that's another one finished. I need to do that from the other side. I can't get to any of those yet. I haven't got a key for that. And I don't think I can do anything else yet. So I just need to go and do the boiler. So let's go and do the boiler. Wait, so another piece? There is another piece. Oh, here we are. Broken valve. Oh, gosh. Okay. Replace the missing valve to turn off the steam. I need to find more stuff. Come on, let me in. Oh, where would the... Where would the rest of the stuff be? Oh, hang on. Switch. It's right there. There we go. Oh no. It worked. It worked, but at what cost? I've got the valve handle for the boiler. Gonna be, it's going to be something down here. Why else would the lights go off? Oh, good, 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 good. Got a new shovel. I'm going to take some drink. Oh, no. Oh, no, I need to reload. Bro, come on! Oh. A bit faster! C. 
six shooter, isn't it? So it's, it needs uh, time to reload. Wait, where's the thing gone? Oh, we're in the other world, aren't we? As soon as he turned the power off, he slipped into the other world again. Come on, is there anything else in here? Jeremy? Jeremy? Yo, Jezza, wake up! <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Nobody's, nobody's got stuff grown on him, pal. Where's the body? Combe didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead clerk. Was he dead? Or was it all fiction? Hmm. Good question. Cool. Got another part of the, got the last part of the plate. Anything else in here? I think this is done. No? There's something else? Oh, hang on. There's a hole in the wall here. Seems to be more. Maybe it's all connected, so it's this whole... When we do the boiler, this whole thing will be marked as complete. There we are, right. Oh, here we are, another puzzle. Good stuff. Okay, so we got a, like a church or a chapel or something. Uh, that seems to be... No, I... Mm. Yeah, those two seem to go together. Uh, we've got another part here. No, that's... No. Yeah, I think that's right. That's, that's more like it. Yeah. Uh... Come on! Oi, oi, oi! That go no, that goes there because that fits on with the the way that is. Um, this one, I think, goes up here. Look. Oh, crikey, man! Flip the neck. These puzzles do—they're uh, destroying me. It's not even hard. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, seven, five, nine. No. Nine, seven, five. Nine, seven... I don't know which way you're supposed to do those. Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. The cellar. The wine cellage, mate. Oh. Uh, is this done now, this bit? That is completely done. Right. Out we go. Down here. Uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This is completely different. Oh, it's, it's directing me towards the cellar. So this is another one of Jeremy's memories then. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Anyway. I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting the good at yeah, you're getting good. The of a flooded cemetery caught him off guard. It was one of the many things that clued Detective Conby in on that this place wasn't the real thing. This was some nightmarish surrogate patched together by Jeremy's tattered memories. This is why we bury above ground, he thought and set off to find the chapel that Jeremy had mentioned. Look for Jezza. Too good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. Inside the chapel. Yeah, you're getting too good at this, Carnby. Getting too good. So again, we have no map. I feel like we've done quite a lot, though, in this episode. It's good. 
Apparently it takes the game it takes about six to ten hours. Uh, and we've done about nearly three. So about halfway through, Ed I think, Edward's campaign. Oh, I don't know whether that's six hours and six to ten hours for both campaigns. I'm not sure. That's why I'm making these episodes about an hour and a half long. So we can... Uh, it doesn't take us like 25 episodes to get through the game. I prefer a longer episode anyway, because it feels like you can do more, get more completed. Oh god, there doesn't seem to be anything to pick up around here, so... Maybe we'll just go into this crypt. What's this Hartwood's family crypt. Ah. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Algernon. So this definitely has is the um, kind of the Lovecraft influence is definitely kind of steep. There's an Algernon Drake in uh, Call of Cthulhu as well. So I feel like Algernon is the only place I've heard the name Algernon is in Lovecraft's Lovecraftian stuff. Uh, so there's nothing in there, absolutely nothing. Sod all, just a just a just a plaque with the Algernon family. It feels like there's something there though, something to do with this this tomb here. But there's there's no prompts to for us to pick anything up or or anything like that. So I guess we can just continue on. I don't want to miss any, um, you know, bits and pieces that are collectibles and uh, that can get me more information. Nope. Stop! What are they, like, what are they made of? They just seem to be, like, made up of plants or they or are they human beings that have been overcome with rot maybe obviously the rot the rot thing was something to do with dredge had the rot didn't it with like a, a spreading rot that you know was on your ship and you had to get try and get it get rid of the rot before it spread that's very interesting what's this the blessing I think we might have to put that in the Oh in here. Now what do we got here? <sighs> got it. What about let me just try something. Because there was a circular there was a circular thing at the at the front of the family thing here. No, there's nothing I can do with that there. Nope. Okay. And what are this crypt is for then? Because at the moment it just kind of unless there's any any decent information on the actual plaque. Industrialist and diviner. At multi Oh, that's just Vatican and Cast Yeah, so that's just uh Latin. Alright. Nothing back here. I just need to double check. Do not want to miss anything? Bear in mind as well, there are some things we need to, we'll be able to get through. Um, or oh, Sledgehammer. There are some things we'll be able to get through uh, Emily's campaign as well. So there's that. Come on then. Oh, you're new. There's a lot of jank. It's very janky. The jank is strong, but it's good. I, I do like it. Pick this up again. Oh, God, come on. There you go. Nothing round here. Oh, we need to... It was the chapel Jeremy had mentioned in his book. With a bit of luck, Soon, Combi would be able to catch up with the old man. He just needed to find a way inside the chapel. 
find a way inside the chapel. Good. So I need more of these. Two more. I sketch this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. Yes, you will. Okay. What's here? Pistol bullets. Good. How many shotgun shells have I got? Ooh. Good. Got, got nine. I need, I'm running out of health stuff. Well, I do need some health healing items. I haven't found any in a while, though. What's in here? Pistolier bullets. Health. There we are, I just mentioned it, and they give me some. Delivered. I urge you. Well, two of you. I'm gonna use a shotgun. Come on. Oh no, skull boy! Oh, mate. Oh, I keep using the bloody thing! Every time I try to switch to my pistol, I press up instead of left, instead of right. So I end up so I end up using bloody health item. I don't need to. I've done it again! Oh my gosh! I keep pressing up to try and use the pistol. Because usually some in games like where you have a, a weapon wheel, I see if I can remap it. But then I'll end up using right. Oh, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I've used all my health items because I'm an absolute pleb. Because I keep trying to select the pistol and I kept selecting bloody health instead. Great. Any health down here? Yes, there's one here. Right. So apparently, alcohol makes him feel better. There's going to be a lot more enemies in here, aren't there? Oh, I can sneak again. Got a shovel. Got another drink. You know what? We're gonna get some. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're good. Anything collectible? Don't wanna wake them up. This. Oh, pistol ammo. Good. Always helpful, always needed, always appreciated. Mm. We're gonna get the uh, the other blessing in here. Mm. Great. More pistol bullets. I don't trust this open area and multitudes of molotovs and, and health items. I don't trust this. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. No, you idiot. Oh, you absolute sod. Use it, use it. 
Use it. Pick it up and use it. Oh my gosh. Useless. Jank. Look. Absolute jank of Matitis. Janky jank. Good old jankness. What's this? Crucifix is a weapon. No, I think I'll keep the shovel. Don't go down there yet. Through here. Can I get in there? What's here? Another item of mass destruction. What are you doing down here? Nothing in there. Oh, look at the blessing. Take that. The omen. Hang on. Can I get back upstairs? Oh, okay. Good. Can I pick this up now? No, you're not going to let me pick it up. Okay. Fine. Oh, great. We've got a couple. A couple of absolute nerds. Let's just pop them into this hallway and shoot them. Shotgun ya. I'll shotgun ya. All the jankness, mate. I can get in there now. Uh, is that the way forward, do you think? Progression path. I'm not sure, you know. Probably one in each one. They probably all lead underground like one big crypt. I'll have a look. I'll see if I come out. Um, I'll see if I come out by another one. Oh! Absolute widge. What are you doing? I reckon this comes out by the other one. Look. Yeah, it does. Does it? Or is this diff? No, it is. It is the. Yeah, it's where I just was. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, bullets. Yes. This is a bit confusing. <laughs> Especially for someone who just wants to collect everything. Alright, oh, so this just leads around in a big kind of circle. So that was where I got the other one from. If I go back this way... Go up here... What if I go down the other one? And where this one popped out of. Oh, look. We got here. Hang on. There was a thing, uh, uh, a little passageway. Let me just check that out first. I know, guys, I'm being pedantic, but. I don't want to miss anything. I want to get everything out of this. Oh, it's just so confusing because there's no map. And I don't know what leads to what. I just, oh, do you know what? I just keep going, keep going the way I was going. If I miss stuff, I miss stuff. I can't faff around with bloody point of no returns. This is confusing where I'm supposed to be going. Something like Bioshock, like a main objective marker would be good. I guess I would defeat the whole purpose of it being like a puzzle kind of game though. Oh. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. That is a point of no return because I, I wouldn't be able to get back up. 
let's just get this bit. See where this bit leads. I'll shoot this guy in the back of the noggin. Ooh. Absolute widge. What are we doing? Stop charging me. Oh, there's nothing down here, mate. What we got? Just health items. So that, I guess there's no, like, progression items in these bits. It's just kind of like... Well, not progression items, but collectibles. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. My brain's gone to mush. Anyway, this is the way forward. It's the way to progress. Here we are. Right. Right. Mm. I've got two of them now, so that makes kind of sense, I guess. That one, uh, oh, shoot, like that. And then put that one like that. No. Oh, I know. Like this, look. Is that right? Yeah, like that. Then this one goes, I believe I can see, like that. Surely. That's right, isn't it? Oh, switch them around. Sure. Okay. I'll play along. There we are. <gasps> Die in a cave in, mate. That would be tragic. So Emily was paying this guy $150 to help her find her uncle. That was quite a lot of money back then. So the Hartwoods must be rich. No, oh, I guess they were actually. So it was Emily's granddad was the, the guy that owned the royal rig. So, yeah, he probably was quite rich actually. Oh look, more bullets. I've got full pistol ammos. I get munted! Oh no! I died! That's annoying. Too many of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Bro, you just gotta get out! Oh, bro, he needs to run! I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Balls. Right, what's the best route out of this place? Just said there's too many, I've got to run. I can't take them all out. I'm not a machine. Too many of Bloody go! Oh no! Oh fam, get out of the way! What are you doing, bro? Just... Oh, this is so janky. This is so janky. Jank, jank. Oh, gosh. I didn't feel fluid. <coughs> Excuse me. Does not feel fluid at all. Enjoying the puzzles, though. The puzzles are good. Combat's rubbish. So the combat actually reminds me of Sinking City a little bit. Just jankiness. Oh, I think this is the right way. Uh, and then down here. Oh, do you know, just, oh, just, just let me run. Follow the lights. Follow the lights. Oh, gosh, the jank. We got the third one. The third and final piece. A sacrifice. A rustic no plate here. adorned with lost allegory. Here we go, we're back. Oh, thank God that's over. Yes, thank the Lord that that is done. I can get back through there. The door was suspiciously 
now open. <laughs> Get spooked by birds now, am I? Oh gosh. Wait. Is this where I went through? Did I go through here? Oh gosh, who's that? This doesn't look good. That's Beauregard. Cassandra Beauregard. She did die. Author and victim. She did die. So when he said, oh, I thought she died. She... It seems like she did. Interesting. Very strange. Very, very strange. I'm glad I found that. That's pretty interesting. I'm probably going to have to get around to it later. But I get way ahead of myself, don't I? Hey, I find things before I'm supposed to find them. I, I like exploring. That's the problem with me. Alright, so... Uh, okay, so we've got... Hmm. I wonder how these are supposed to... They just all go up like this, maybe? Up the, up the top? Or do they... Oh, do you know what? They probably have to make like this maybe I don't know how this is supposed to go is there a clue anywhere that can't be right no it can't mate uh, is there a clue in anything I've picked up so far uh, maybe this power of the verb commonplace of evil no it doesn't seem uh, yeah, look, there's Cassandra Beauregard, look. Wait, how, so how does this go? Is there a clue anywhere? Trial and error. Maybe that one's supposed to go there. There we go. There we are, we did it. So who's this? Is this Ruth? I'm losing track of who's who. She was a patient as well. I haven't heard met her yet. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made... I made a terrible promise with some... The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Terawea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! <laughs> Run! Don't let him take you! Aw, oh, bro. Lights oh. out. <sighs> hey, she wasn't there before when I was in her room. Was she in love with Jeremy or something? This woman. My everything. 
I've yeah. seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Oh, Jezza. A luggage item. Jay Hartwood. Oh, that's the for the thing in his in his room. We'll go there first, and then we might leave the episode there. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Perusi's body looked. Hang on. Jeremy didn't want. There we are. Jeremy didn't want to be saved. He felt the need to honor some deal he made with an entity called the Dark Man. Conby wanted to think it was ridiculous. But a brief encounter with that unbearable bloom had shaken him to his core. Combi had seen a lot of bad things in his life, but he had never before been this terrified. After gathering his thoughts, Combi figured he would need to chase after Jeremy in the only place left he could think of. He needed to go to Tarawea. Tarawea? Perosi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died, or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. The Seto. Right, let's go and unlock Jezza's steamer trunk. Excuse me, and um, there's no nothing else in here. But it's all done. Jeremy's trunk. This is Jeremy's room. Hang on. I haven't got anything else I can do, have I? I haven't found any other stuff. Maybe there'll be something in Jeremy's thing. Another key. A Barlow lens. Excellent. A lens that can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. A telescope lens? Why would he lock that up? Jeremy had found a way to enter Terrawea. But he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Comby suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Mm. Are we good? Jeremy's room is completely done now, that's good. So we can go downstairs. I can go this way. And then uh, through that door down there. To the drawing room, which is through the dining room, I think. Through here. No, that's the bathroom. <laughs> through here. There we go. If I go through here. <clears throat> is that rock getting worse? It seems like it's getting worse. Hang on. And I can get through the thingy, can't I? Get through the library. It's the easiest way to get there. Here we go. Right. Um. I didn't get a checkpoint, but... Maybe I'll just do this. I'll just do it. Hello lens. Here we are. Adjust the zoom and the focus. Hang on. Got a 
to try and line all them up, haven't I? There we go. Whoa. Oh, I'm in Tarawea. Unbelievable. All right, cool. I'm in Tarawea. Um, I'm going to leave there, guys. So that's it for part two. Um, I hope you are enjoying this game. It's, like I said before, the combat is very janky. All the jank. But I do like the game. I like where the story is going. Um, and I like the puzzles. And I like kind of how everything else is. The combat is not so good. But the uh, game is, is all right. It's all right. I'm looking forward to part three. We're going to like uncover more of the story. Um, and I can't wait to get into the other campaign and see what um, what Emily's been up to because we haven't seen her for a while. We've seen, I think we've seen her twice. Um, the last time we saw her was back halfway through episode one. So, so guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And leave a comment down below what you thought about this game. But for now, take care and I will see you in the next one.